No, not at all. Uh, and I don't think any of us did. Uh, in fact, I would say that many of the things we've accomplished weren't even on our li wish list. Uh, marriage equality certainly was something I did not anticipate to see in my lifetime. What's the lesson on how to campaign? You worked with one of the best, Harvey Milk, uh, who was later assassinated, of course, as a, a supervisor on the San Francisco City Council. But you saw how you got changed through campaigning. How, how, what, what works and what doesn't work? One of the things that Harvey kept saying over and over was that everyone had to come out. Uh, he was mistrustful of media campaigns. He was, uh, he was a believer in retail politics, of going door to door and, and storytelling. And even today, I, I work primarily within the labor movement in, in the United States today, and even today I see the power of storytelling as we bring together workers of different ethnicities and genders and backgrounds to fight the good fight for the, for the, you know, the common struggle. It comes through in the book, of course. The socialist workers are always there on the marches, yes. <laughs> as they often are here. The left, of course, captured and, and, and supported the cause before many other did. Did that help? Was that a, has that made you innately left-wing? Is, is the LGBT cause innately a left-wing one, do you think? No, I wouldn't say that, but I would say that I have always believed in the larger struggle, and I've always f been grateful that the... LGBT part of it was included. We had to fight a long time to be included. We had to fight our Democratic Party a long time to be included in the platform. Uh, so all of these are advances. And I also, uh, you know, celebrate uh, every time a Republican comes around. I would say that neither the liberals nor the conservatives own this issue or my community. Mm. The book, The Memoir of Your Life. You've kept everything in, let us say. You, 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 you've had a lot of love in your life. Uh, uh, People reading it will learn about the train journeys where you meet somebody or walking through the cemetery and you meet somebody. Well, what do you think the straights will think when they read just about how many and how easy you have found it to have alliances? Well, I've been delighted by the response from young straight people. Uh, I'm quite uh, surprised. I, I was a, a little afraid that the only people who would read it were old white gay men who went <laughs> through it with me, but uh, it's been quite the contrary. And I think today, uh, people are desperate for strategies and answers and encouragement and hope for their future and some of them are finding it in my book and that is just a, a wonderful experience. Do you think position the LGBT community has arrived at in terms of acceptance in most Western countries now, do you feel it's under threat? I mean in the United States, President Trump, do you feel it's a serious threat or is it, if you like, a rhetorical threat or not a threat at all? Well, honestly, I would have to say that, yes, uh, everything LGBT people have won is at risk, but I would say that that's uh, not even my greatest concern. I think that uh, our president has uh, turned so many things upside down, uh, questioning the value of NATO. Uh, I mean, as, an LGBT, as a member of the LGBT community, I'm concerned, but if I was living in Poland or... Latvia or Lithuania, I think I would be terrified right now. Uh, everything ha hangs in the balance. We're in uncharted waters, and really, quite frankly, I think anything could happen, and I find it terrifying. What's on your wish list now? What, what would be the... what's left? I hope to continue to change the hearts and minds of ordinary people so that they can, you know, accept and love their children. We still have an appallingly high suicide rate among uh, gay and transgender youth. It, it makes me very sad because I used to be one of those children mm. that was considering suicide. Well, it's a, it's a, it's a great read. Do you Thank ever you. see a day when, we won't, when it'll be boring to read about a gay struggle? And this will just be... Well, that's why I left tiresome. all the sex in. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to keep it interesting. But. Cleve Thank Jones, you. thank you very much indeed. Thank, thank you. you.